Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about the order of operations. And we're going to evaluate this expression. So if I was given 8 at our e times 15 over 5 minus 5 plus 9. So I'm given this expression here. So we, we have to think about our PEMDAS. Think about, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? Which one comes first? Well, we have multiplication, subtraction, addition, but we have the parentheses. So the parentheses we need to deal with first. So I see the subtraction here separating the parentheses from this uh, left side of the equation, or expression. 5 plus 9, well, that adds up to be 14. Now, if you want to save a step here, right? Sometimes I like to save step, uh, steps, skip steps. Um, we really combine the steps. And I see the 15 divided by a 5, a fraction there. Well, that 15 divided by 5, that could just come out to be the 3. So I can put a 3 down here and I write the times 8. And the reason why I'm doing that, dealing with that here, okay, is I know that separation here, the subtraction sign separating, I, I can't necessarily bring that over. This is going to come before it. And with multiplication division here, I can divide that. Uh, 15 divided by 5 first, get the 3, and then I'll multiply it by the 8 in my next step, right? Because multiplication comes before subtraction. So 8 times 3 is uh, 24, minus 14. I choose to get rid of the parentheses at this point. And 24 minus 14 comes out to be 10. And there is my final answer. Quick recap. We have subtraction, multiplication, and parentheses with addition. I dealt with the parentheses first. Once I did that, I divided the 15 divided by the 5 to get the 3. I took the 8 times 3, gave me the 24, and then brought the negative 14 down. 24 minus 14 is that 10. 